ahead now and crack this case open real quick so you can see the original starting point that you're going to have and how much work it is to get it all stripped down to get it to look like the pieces you see in the background there's another one of these exactly the same size back here that's already been taken apart and i'm already got half of the rotor completed with the blades installed and i'll show you that here in a moment For the stepper motor and it's going to be very difficult to press all that out so what i did is cut all the wire across the faces here you have to chip out all the plastic here cut all the wires on both sides you can see the other side here has all these wires hanging out of it so you're gonna have to cut all the copper wire off of those coils and then take a press or something about the exact same size to fit against the laminate ring in there but inside of the case you are have to press that out really gently to try not to hurt as many of them as you can and once you get that out you'll have your case you'll have this thing of laminates where it'll look like this and get that off camera yeah. up with something just like this and it's got the fiberglass or whatever it is little cores still left in it I cut the edges off on either side and now I've got a bunch of laminates you're gonna to want to peel each one of these apart the smaller stepper motor the laminates themselves aren't glued together they just have little tiny recessed sections on one side and a little pin right at the tip of my finger those black dots that you see one side's kind of recessed the other side's kind of stuck out and they snap together so they're pretty easy to pull apart uh, that's two of them right here so you've actually got each one of those individual ring uh, those are pretty easy once you get that set up. So you'll have a case which will look like this right here. You'll have an outer case, you'll have a stack of laminates, and you'll have a rotor so ready to go. Rotor. But I've already got halfway complete here. I'll pull the cap off the end of it. And I've chiseled out all that epoxy out of those teeth right there. You can see how shiny it is all the way through. Once again, it originally starts looking just like that. And you're going to chisel out all that epoxy all the way through making sure to expose all your little teeth because those teeth are going to be your vortex grab rotor and each one's slightly staggered like i said so it's going to follow the vortex pattern uh, i've got all the laminates now stacked halfway down the inner rotor ready to go i've got glue on one side holding it in place and right now i'm using some string very thin string to keep the distance between each one of my laminate plates and once i've got this whole thing stacked I'm going to go inside of these and I'm going to run one little line of epoxy down my keeper pins on either side, on just one of these arms on either side, and that's going to lock them all to the exact distance I want them without that string in there, and I'll unwrap the string once that's done. Uh, here in these little grooves, like I showed you in the original building the Tesla turbine out of the other uh, stator motor, I have to build keeper pins that'll fit. It's very difficult in the camera here, folks, to show you these grooves. But these grooves have a recess in them, so you're going to build a little pin that slides down into that recess that will line up with the inner teeth you see here on this ring. So those inner teeth will line up right perfectly with some of these lines. You'll put a little keeper pin in there on two sides and then slide those down over that keeper pin and that'll lock it so it doesn't spin against the inner rotor like this. It'll keep it from ever doing that. It's an easy way to lock them all into place. So there you go. You can now see down those holes and you can see that the blades are now perfectly lined with each other and you can see right through it more like the Tesla turbines original design uh, once again we're we're limited because we're using already designed plates we're limited on the amount of surface area we're gonna get boundary layer effects on but this will still work really well because of the inner rotor teeth and all the little blades that are in there on the outside and everything so all I'm gonna do now is finish the rest of this I'll show you what it looks like when it's done so I've completed the entire rotor now you can see We've got all our pieces all the way around right there. Everything's spaced, it's ready to go. We've got our output holes on the back side of the case drilled in it right there. We've got our output holes on the front side of this case plate right here all the way around. You can see those output holes around the center drive shaft ready to go. All right, so we've also got the case ready to go here. You can see I've made a slice all the way down the case. And that was with a grinder edge, a real thin grinder blade went down it and then angled the grinder blade to give me one side that's kind of angled with the turbine direction and the other side's kind of a blunt edge right here. I'm always gonna spin this one direction. I don't need these multi-directional. These are just test turbines to have some fun with. Uh, so we now need to build an outer case around this that's gonna get the air or water flowing in a vortex direction, kind of spinning it already into that case and that'll deliver that force into our Tesla turbine. All we have to do now is basically put this all together Put on the outer case, like I said, and add some pressure to this. Let me go ahead and throw this all together real quick so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I've got that back in the case. Now you can see what it looks like when it's all together. We've got our output holes on the front and the back right there. We can spin this. Let me turn it around. You can hear a little bit of the uh, magnetically charged dust that's still in there. I haven't blown this out with an air compressor yet. 
very difficult to get the dust off of those uh, laminate plates because it is a magnetic rotor inside of there which is very unique when we talk about water because water has a diamagnetic presence which Well, that seems to be about it.